The Hyundai i20 has been a massive success for Hyundai and it's not really hard to see why. It's very nice looking, very comfortable and it comes loaded with features. But Hyundai has yet another version of the car and it promises to offer a bit more. It's a car that's targeted at people who want their hatchbacks to have a little bit more personality. This is the new i20 Active and here's what you should know about it. The i20 Active is what you could call the lifestyle version of the i20. Much like the Toyota Etios Cross, Volkswagen Cross Polo and Fiat Aventura are to their more everyday version. And as you can see, there's quite a bit that's different on the i20 Active. For one, it sits 20mm taller than the standard car. This helps give the Active a better stance and also bumps ground clearance up to a handy 190mm. Of course, what's a cross hatchback without its share of plastic cladding? What's nice is Hyundai hasn't gone overboard with it. There's just the right amount of cladding on the wheel arches, base of the doors and on the lower portion of the bumpers. The front bumper is quite different and houses a scuff plate that does add some attitude. There are new round fog lamps as well and though the headlights look familiar, they now feature projectors, daytime running lights and even cornering lights. Bits like the roof rails, chunky fuel filler cap and gloss finish black C pillars do help the appearance. At the rear, you won't see a tailgate mounted spare wheel as on the Aventura. The rear bumper is different though and once again the round auxiliary lights add some flavour to styling. On the inside, the Active is pretty much like the standard i20, but new colours on the dashboard and seats liven things up. The metal finish on the pedals also adds a bit of sportiness to the spacious and premium cabin. Given that Hyundai has raised the car and also reworked the dampers for smoother rebound, I was curious to know the impact on ride and handling vis-a-vis -vis the regular i20. Despite changes to the suspension, the Active doesn't ride all that different to the regular i20, which means low speed ride is good, high speed stability is decent, but this is still not a very engaging car. And that is once again solely down to the steering wheel. It's inconsistent in feel and doesn't really encourage you to push the car in corners, although grip levels themselves are quite good. As for the engine, the Active uses the same 82 bhp 1.2 litre petrol and 89 bhp 1.4 litre diesel engines as the standard i20. But both have been reworked to make them more alert. As per Hyundai's claims, the low end response on the petrol engine has improved by 6%. But in the real world, that doesn't really amount to much. The i20 Active's petrol engine doesn't feel noticeably different from the standard i20s. Bottom end responses are quite nice and uh, when you add to the mix the smooth shifting gearbox and the light clutch, it makes for quite a nice city car. I also got a chance to drive the diesel version of the i20 Active. As mentioned before, the engine has been tweaked and as for Hyundai's numbers, bottom end responses are 11% better here. The diesel engine on the Active does feel a touch more urgent than the one on the regular i20. But how much so is something which we'll have to wait for our performance figures to come in. Uh, on all other fronts, it feels pretty much like the i20 diesel, which means it's smooth, very refined and is quite happy to rev as well. Uh, it's also an engine which is quite comfortable at low city speeds and you can even leave the 6-speed gearbox in a higher gear and get by without much hassle. While on the subject of the diesel, it's interesting to know that only the diesel is available in feature-loaded and top-spec SX form. The petrol car will be sold in the lower and mid variants only, which miss equipment like push-button start, automatic climate control and a passenger airbag.
What's also worth a mention is that variant for variant, the active costs about 90,000 rupees more than the standard i20. Hyundai has priced the petrol i20 active at 6.38 lakh rupees ex showroom Delhi, while prices for the diesel version range from 7.63 to 8.89 lakh rupees. For the money, you get a car that is just as nice as the regular i20, but with a slightly different personality. The additional cladding and different detailing do make it stand out amongst the thousands of i20s that are already on Indian roads. For many, that should be reason enough to seriously consider the i20 Active.